My name's Bo Averill, and I'm Global Head of Business Operations at FameBit by YouTube, YouTube's branded content platform. And FameBit, for those that don't know, was an acquisition by Google. Uh, we're here today to introduce an idea to all the brand advertisers in the room and agencies that brand integrations with creators at scale can be always on and there is a meaningful community and many meaningful communities on YouTube to connect with from all walks of life, all different types of content. And rather than just think about, you know, parsing out a budget for, you know, one by one, maybe promotable or an initiative, why not uh, lean into the platform and ensure there's a steady drumbeat of conversation around your brand in the places where people are organically watching. And so today we talked a bit about how to do that through FameBit and YouTube, um, some of the measurement and innovation that we're bringing, and, um, and some of the results we've seen so far. From a measurement perspective, what we're doing is bringing the accountability of ads measurement to organic viewership. And this is something that has never really been done before on YouTube. And what I mean is that traditionally you can measure things like search lift or brand lift or figure out if someone has converted after exposure to an ad. But with FameBit and with organic viewership, you never really had that. So we launched those three measurement tools for organic branded content. So let's say I'm a brand, I work with 30 YouTube creators or influencers to integrate my brand into their content. Now with these types of measurement tools, we can see, for example, with search lift after users have watched the content, did they go and search on Google? And if they did, what happened? So that we can actually show them that incubating these conversations through creators actually you know, drives business results and, and drives search. We work with a brand like Victoria's Secret for Pink. And I showed on stage that we integrated the shopping experience directly onto the page. But Pink can work with a creator that is normally gonna do a review of the fall season clothing line for back to school. But now if Pink can be part of that conversation, and it's a brand where the creator would have normally shopped, which we believe through the matchmaking process we can identify, then it's super natural to them to showcase Pink's line of clothing in their videos. And then we can, if we can complement that with a product experience like shopping, we can really give the brand that immersive uh, experience that is not only a win for the creator because they love the brand, but it's a win for the user because they can now shop and have that experience brought to them by the creator. And then obviously for the brand, it's great because it's, it feels supernatural and they feel like it's authentic and it's a real genuine message. 